Now you may come across a box where there's no room for the transmitter to fit in, such as this box here. You can see the transmitter is too uh, wide to fit on its side and, there, and there's no place in this box for it to sit in it. So in this case we're going to attach a box that's on the side of, and we'll show you how to do that. So in this case we're going to put the transmitter into a plastic box like this. Take the cover off and the transmitter will fit inside here. And we're going to take the sensors, the CTs, and they're going to go inside the, the box, go through this conduit we call uh, liquid tight, and then plug into the transmitter. Now the transmitter comes with one CT attached to it, so what we've had to do is, is cut that wire and attach plugs that, that after we feed the wire through the conduit we can reattach it into the transmitter. Okay, I'm going to attach this box underneath the breaker box. I put the conduit uh, right here. I'll need some anchor screws to put the box into the wall. And I'll have to pop out a hole for the conduit to fit into. First, I usually take a screwdriver and punch out around the holes. We have to pull a piece of metal off. careful not to bend the box. These pieces pop out, but if you twist them too hard, they will actually bend the box. You want to be careful with that. Now we've got a hole in our box. Attach the side conduit. where we want to anchor the box to the wall. Next thing we want to do is get our transmitter or our, our CTs, run them through the conduit. Because they have these ends on, it's hard to push them through the conduit because they have these wires. You want to pull a length straight, straight as you can get it before you run it through the conduit. And you'll want to take a, a stiff wire, push it up through the conduit. Wrap it around your wire. Also, this wire is it's hard to get through the conduit, so you'll want to pull it as straight as you can get it. Without, without breaking it, obviously. Someone's going to get really good, really good at pulling the wire for now. I'm just going to uh, twist it around like this. Pull through. I've got the first CT wire through. We need our pull wire through.
down the three quarter inch seal tight this is the minimum size we can use. A half inch is okay to use for this wire size, but you can't get these end plugs through the half inch, so you use a three quarter. So now to complete the installation, we're going to connect the ends of the CT to the transmitter box. Put the one in the middle that's permanently attached. Plug this one into one of the ends. Stick our transmitter into the box. connect our two CTs on the main power lines coming in. Again, we want to make sure that the wires are out of the way, not blocking anything. And if we can close the box without smashing any wires or short down. You have to pull on the wires, give it, stretch them out to like, give yourself a little bit of room. It won't hurt anything. As you can see, this is a very tight fit, but doable. And there we are. We replace the front face. We'll put it back in the screws, and we're ready to run.